All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. So we are headed to a car meet for my gym. My gym is having like, it's a, it's they call it the TG Fest because their name is the Gym Vista. So TG, the gym. But we are headed there right now. Um, we're actually supposed to be there at 7, but I'm showing up late. I'm going to be there at like 7.15. Hopefully it's a cool turnout. If not, um, I'm probably just going to give you all a back workout and not show y'all any of the cars but i'm hoping it is a cool turnout because that's the main reason i'm going is for content to get some rollers of hopefully my car and then hopefully other people's cars too but we'll see what happens i don't know but i will pick back up with y'all when we get there <laughs> y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed those rollers because those rollers were crazy this is the first time i tested out my camera for rollers so hopefully they look fire but um yeah there wasn't that many cars so we just did rollers in my car um i was trying to get other people's cars but it was like the break of dawn so people were i don't think anybody was trying to wake up at but to everybody that did show up shout out y'all um but yeah man it was a fire fire um shoot pretty cool but now we're at the gym so i'm gonna get this back out back workout in for y'all so i'll catch y'all in the gym Let's get it, man. All right, guys, we're on to this single arm high row. So here, um, I'm using like the, what's it called? The cables that you use for like a row, like a single arm cable row, because I feel like I get more range of motion. And honestly, like from what I've seen, and I actually did this is my second back, back day of the week. So when I did this the first day, like the first day of the week, dude, like literally like the connection is nuts compared. I don't know. It's just like a tighter on your lower lats. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm starting with two plates um and honestly you're pretty much almost done dude so what i do what i was doing outside was i was doing close grip t-bar row which is working more like middle back middle back like lower lats kind of and then i was doing wide grips working more upper back and then here i'm working more lower lats again and then i'm gonna go into lat pull downs but i'm gonna go for a wide grip so i'm gonna do work the upper lats and that should be it to be honest um i already did rear delts like twice this week so i'm pretty much done with that and then, uh, yeah, that should be it, man. We all, we all get it.
y'all doing? Y'all have no idea how hot it is in California. It's finally starting to pick up. And honestly, this is like nothing compared to like Arizona or Texas. It's only like 86, but that's still hot, man. For my black skin, that's hot, all right? But yeah, man, it's actually um, Sunday today. So I did all that filming on Saturday. So we got to do our study, though. Um, like I said, I usually do these the day later. <laughs> but I'm not sitting in my car to do this study. It is too hot. And it's funny because I'm even standing outside. So it's like, all right, but you're in the heat still. But I don't care, bro. It's hot, all right? It's, it's hot. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that back workout was really good. Um, if you want it, I will just comment in the description or, or comment and let me know. And I'll give it to you. But, yeah, man. Um, I've really been enjoying just making content lately, like just been like trying to venture out and just try different editing things. And it's fun, bro. Like DaVinci Resolve Studio is really fun. So I hope you all have been enjoying like the new edits and stuff. And we just gonna keep getting better. I know I say this in every video, but it's the truth, man. Once you stay consistent with something, you'll continue to get better at it. And that's for anybody watching this. If you want to start something, just start it, bro, because you never know. And I guarantee as you continue to do it, you'll get better at it. So just keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. And as always, you know, we all have God-given talent. So figure out what your talent is and just go for it, man. You never know. You never know until you try. So with that being said, let's praise God on this day and let's get into a verse. Right, y'all, today's verse is Romans 1 verse 28. And it says, and since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. So I'm just going to explain basically what Paul is saying here. So Paul, this Paul wrote this. So he said, um, so the way Paul explains people who reject God is crazy because he's saying people intentionally reject God, even though God has made the existence and character known to everyone through general revelation. And what he means by that is look at the trees, look at the bird, look at the sky. That has to have a creator, bro. The way everything is structured, the oceans, the mountains, it has to be from a higher power. And morality has to be from a higher power. Because if we were to discern morality, it wouldn't make sense. Because if I were to kill whoever's watching this video and it would benefit me, why does it matter? How can we say it's good or bad? The fact that we know it's good or bad shows that God, there is a higher power that controls all that. So, and then he goes on to say, Paul suggests that when people reject God, their minds become worthless and spiritually depraved and they are left to do evil things paul goes on to say that god gives people over to a reprobate mind which means they are consigned to a condition to that can be only be undone by the gospel people with reprobate, reprobate minds are filled with unrighteousness wickedness covetousness malice and they are willing to hurt others to get what they want this leads to envy murder strife deceit and malignity so essentially he's saying that <laughs> the only way like when you when you when we just when, we, when people reject god it's basically like because god gave us free will right so it's we have the choice to either do good or do evil sadly majority of people would rather do evil and rather follow their fleshly desires which is evil according to god's word so and when you tell them that, they get angry. And that's because their mind is not filled with the Holy Spirit. Their mind is essentially blind. They're blind. They're living in blindness because the blindness is their flesh. And so what that means is that they can't undo that blindness unless they get the Holy Spirit. And the only way to understand God's word is through the Holy Spirit because that's the only way you can understand it. Because if Christ lives in us, and he gave us the Holy Spirit. How can we understand his word if we don't have the Holy Spirit? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. So that's that's just that's just why, like, if you guys are ever trying to spread the gospel, that's why people don't get it because they're living in blindness because their mind is not. It's it's dead. Their mind is dead to their flesh. So don't be discouraged by it when you're trying to preach the word and try to spread the gospel. Just be patient and allow god to work for you because it's not up to us to change people guys we're the messengers and that's all we can really do so that's just crazy the way he explains it you know like he's basically just saying like you're just dead like people who are blind are just dead essentially their mind is just filled with nothingness because bro our purpose is to love god our purpose is to serve god with all the heart mind and soul and if we're not doing that 
then we're just whatever. Our life's whatever. We could all just die. And it wouldn't even matter. Why does our life matter? So just focus on that, you guys. You know, don't get discouraged when you're trying to preach the word. Don't get discouraged when you're trying to spread the gospel. Just like allow God to do it for you. And yeah, man. Um, just keep going, bro. Keep doing what you do. Keep doing what we do. And I'm gonna keep spreading the light. And I pray that you guys keep spreading the light. Be the light in the dark place. And also, too, if you haven't watched my last video, go watch my last video. I did leave the Discord link in that description of that video. I will leave it in this description of this video, too. So if you guys want to do more studies, I'm trying to get this uh, fellowship growing to where we can do Bible studies like every Sunday. Um, so if you want to join, let me know in the comments and or just join the Discord. But yeah, man, that is probably going to be it for this video. Um, I'm probably going to drop another one of those talk videos next week so stay tuned for that and we'll just keep going man keep keep going keep striving we're already at like 1500 subscribers so we're pretty close to 2k which is crazy because i hit a thousand subscribers a month ago so yeah let's keep going man um praise god it's all glory to god it's not us and it's god is doing it for us so let's keep going man i love you guys and yeah man as always have a blessed one peace